wasn't sure if you were alive or... or if you were going to come back for me. I mean, not that I'm not grateful, but why? Why not stay in that other universe? I... yeah. Yeah, I do. It's not much, but I scrounged up a few things you might still be able to use. You're welcome to anything else you find lying around, too. No one's going to miss it. And as for me, I owe you. You ever need an engineer? Just say the word. Now, let's get off this damn rock. We should have a talk, when you have the time, of course. Yes? Forgive me for pulling you aside again, but, well, there's so much to process right now. The Emissary, the Hunter, the Unity, an entire multiverse. I can't even begin to wrap my head around it all. I don't know where to begin. The fact that we are the origin of the Starborn. Humans literally reborn by entering the Unity. The same, yet different. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I feel like most of the knowledge we've amassed in the last few centuries about the universe has just been made obsolete. It's exciting, but we've made so many mistakes along the way. I worry about the damage we've done to ourselves. We've been pushing further and further outwards from our home, when we should have spent more time being prepared for the consequences. Our current problem relates closely to the nature of humans as a species. This rushed curiosity has led us to enter the Unity and become Starborn. Well, look what's happening right now. Here we are, caught in the middle of some sort of needlessly violent crusade between the Hunter and the Emissary. You'd think that a technologically advanced society would have evolved past petty squabbling over something like the artifacts. It almost makes me wonder if entering the Unity has done them more harm than good.
Yes, I agree. But not at the expense of erasing our own existence. When you pass into whatever lies beyond, we don't know what will become of you. Will you remember your life as you knew it? Will the hunger to collect the artifacts consume your life like it's clearly consumed the Starborn? Of course not. I am, and always will be, an explorer at heart. My concern is how fundamental the change will be to ourselves as people. We don't even know if you'll remember anything about this conversation. I'm worried what that will mean between us. I'm just as curious to find out what's on the other side as well, but that's not the point. As the Chair of Constellation, I want all of us to have this opportunity to explore the Unity. It would be the pinnacle exploration of our lives. However, after we enter the Unity, we'll likely evolve. You and I, as we stand here right now, will essentially cease to exist. You're a respected colleague, and I wouldn't want to lose you. I'm not sure. I'm guessing based on what we've learned. Even if I accompany you into the Unity, the question still remains. Would we know each other anymore? Even if we did, would we care? Part of what I do as Chair of Constellation is weigh the costs of our expeditions. And this one... Oh, the cost is extremely high. I know. Damn it. I know. Listen. I realize nothing that I say is ever going to change your mind or diminish the enticement of this incredible opportunity. All I ask is that you research the facts before you blindly stumble off into the unknown. I... I don't know if I'm ready to make that leap, but knowing we'd be doing it hand in hand would certainly make it more comforting. Well, I suppose I've ruined the moment again, haven't I? <laughs> I'm getting quite good at that lately. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Just think what we discussed. I know I will. I have something I need to discuss with you. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Oh yes, absolutely. I didn't mean to compare. Those were just... Oh, I don't know. Different times. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protégé. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together, but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. 
Well, I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend, but we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there, and that... Well, that's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please give me some time. I... I, I, I have to go.